Now, as it's been so warm in many places in the country this week, we may have used less gas than usual to heat our homes, but we're still reliant on it to generate electricity. Yes, with North Sea reserves diminishing, the UK has been importing a lot of gas in recent years, but how does it all get here? Well, here's Marty Jobson with one answer. Somewhere out there, rumbling across the English Channel, is a gigantic tanker loaded with a precious cargo. On board is enough energy to boil eight billion kettles. That's a kettle for every man, woman and child on the planet, with quite a few to spare. And it's coming right here. This ship has travelled 7,000 miles from Qatar in the Middle East to reach its final port of call. But it's not carrying oil, it's carrying gas. The ship is delivering its cargo to the National Grid's gas storage facility on the Isle of Grain, the largest of its kind in Europe. Dr Jason Shirley is the gas quality manager for the National Grid. Jason, this is a vast vessel. How much is on there? Well, this ship's got about 145,000 metres cubed of liquefied natural gas. Is it, oh, hang on, what's liquefied natural gas? It's just like gas that you use at home. It's just that it's chilled down to about a minus 160 um, centigrade. So when you chill it down to those temperatures, it turns into a liquid, thus reducing its volume dramatically, which makes it a lot easier to store, to process and put onto ships. The gas on this ship was turned into a liquid in Qatar and piped onto the ship where it's stored in specially insulated tanks that maintain very low temperatures throughout the voyage. It's easy to show how they convert the gas into a liquid. This is a balloon full of air and this is a container full of incredibly cold liquid nitrogen. Watch this. As I push the balloon into the chilly liquid nitrogen, it starts to cool the air inside my balloon. I'm not squeezing the air, it's getting smaller because the temperature inside drops below the boiling point of the air. When this happens, the air is condensed into a liquid. So all that's left of most of the air that was in there is this little bit of liquid. Can you see that sloshing around in there? And the ships carrying liquefied natural gas work on exactly the same principle. The liquefied natural gas, or LNG, is offloaded from the ship at sub-zero temperatures. It's so cold that ice starts to form around them. These freezing temperatures are maintained across the site. And in some places, the pipes become completely encased in ice. The LNG is kept in giant storage tanks, each 50 metres high and over 90 metres wide. It's kept cold until needed, at which point it's converted back into gas. This huge facility is capable of supplying around a fifth of the UK's gas needs, thanks to the LNG stored here. Currently, we import about half of our natural gas, but it's estimated that by the year 2020, we'll need to import more than 70% of it. So the next time you turn on a gas cooker or flick on a light switch, you may well be using energy that's sailed all the way from Qatar.